Oh, um, well, hi there. Today we're going to be opening a box of Eternal Masters from Magic the Gathering. Lovely Therese Nielsen art on the front of this box. And uh, I've been wanting to do one of these pack openings for quite a while, and I figure I might as well, you know, parody it, have some fun with it by doing an ASMR Magic the Gathering pack opening video. There's a beautiful art here on this Eternal Masters box. Oh, yes. Absolutely wonderful. Still sealed, too. Still sealed in that factory shrink wrap. You can see the Wizards of the Coast logo. Since I have this rustic kind of background here, I'm also just going to use a nice rustic uh, uh, Opinel knife. This is one I usually carry around with me all the time because it's such a nice little utility knife, you know. Uh, has a wonderful patina on the blade. I do need to resharpen it though. That should be good enough to kind of help us along with opening the package here. I set that off to the side in case I need it later, in case my clumsy fingers can't open packages. All right, lovely, lovely shrink wrapping here, which I'm going to absolutely mangle, of course. Yeah, that's good. That's wonderful. Okay, we'll ball that up and then throw it into the, uh, the plastic recycling bag that I'll be using for all of this. I hope all of this is recyclable because that's what's going to happen. And here we have the uh, box of Eternal Masters. Look at that. Look at that. Normally, oh, that's just going to be a little problematic, isn't it? Of course it is. There we go. There. Now it's like it's on display in a store, but you'll never see a store because I'm going to open all of these. All right. Now, normally you should definitely draft these, um, but can't really do that. I'm just going to set this off to the kind of, uh, maybe about right. Yeah, right there. That should be good. That should be good. So you can you can count the packs yourselves if you want to. Maybe maybe I'll we'll get a pack or maybe something will go wrong. But let's just go ahead and start the very first pack here. Oh, well that just that thing just opened up. Nice and easily. That's good. That's good. And then go ahead and take the foil, throw it away. That's what you want to do. And our token is a lovely goblin token. I, I just finished building a goblin charbelcher for Legacy, and I do need more of those, so this box has already gotten its value for me. Our foil card is an elvish vanguard, and our rare is a mother of runes. These are... Price of Progress, Haunted of Seeking Winds, Roar of the Worm, Trek on. Do I really need to go through all these? Scoured Barons, Faithless Looting, Grave Digger, Stupefying Touch, Commune with the Gods. This would be a very good pack if these were to be drafted, but they're not going to be drafted. So, I know, it's kind of sad. Cards that will never get to see their full potential in a draft. I'm going to set the commons and uncommons off to the side over there. And let's go ahead and start again here with another one of these packs. I do. I actually don't have a Mother of Runes either, so we're just getting so much value from this pack already. We have a zombie token. You can always use more zombie tokens. A Thundering Wyvern. A Thundering Wyvern. Wonderful, wonderful card for draft. And oh, oh my. We have our very first Force of Will. This is absolutely beautiful Therese Nielsen art. I mangled that name. But yes, that is a beautiful card. And we have a Soul Catcher, a Blood Artist, which is also good. Glimmer Point Stag. This is a Monk Idealist. This would be a fantastic pack. This is a wonderful pack for drafting. And a Curd Ape. Man, I almost feel sad for not going through this entire thing. And drafting it but then my friends could possibly pull the force of will and we just can't have that now can we it's my force of will it's mine not yours it's mine okay we have a wall token defender 55 i don't even remember what that's from a honden of knight's reach for the foil and brago eternal king as our rare 
A nice blood artist. Blood Braid Elf is by far one of my favorite cards, and I believe that was also a... No, that, I think that was a Blood Braid Elf pack. I can't remember already. Juggernaut, very old school card. Mishal Charger. Seismic Stomp. Tragic Slip. Dismal Backwater. Wake of Vultures. Peregrine Drake. Nimble Mongoose. What am I... Another very favorite card. Delver, Nimble Mongoose. Great little, great little deck that you can make there. And Plague Witch. All right. Fantastic stuff so far here. Brago is a wonderful uh, general for EDH if you ever need just a simple, simple general to build an EDH deck around. Very good with spirits. Oh, it's, was this pack upside down? Or did I open that upside down? Eh, whatever. Elvish, or an Elf Warrior token. A Jetting Glass Kite for the foil. And Rorix Bladewing. Legendary creature, Flying Haste, Dragon. Very good. Phyrexian Ingester. Trigon Predator. Milliken. I love Milliken. It's a, such a good draft card. Ooh, a Counterspell. Counterspell is a... Yeah, we need more of those. Nimble Mongoose. Man, I'm almost building Rug Delver. Or Canadian Delver. Canadian Threshold. I can't remember the name of that legacy deck. It's very good. Very good deck, though. All right, moving on to the next one here. Rorik's, Rorik's Blade Wing, not very good EDH general, even though he is legendary. We've got a spirit token. Wonderful, wonderful spirit token. Ooh, Silent Departure, one man in return. Yep, that's a very good draft card as well. And Future Sight, that is a fantastic EDH card. It allows you to play with the top card of your library revealed, and you may also play that card. Cells Persecution, fantastic removal. Him to Turok, wonderful disruption, tempo spell. Havoc Demon, great draft card. Lanoir Elves, always a classic. Some mana fixing with Windscarred Crag, Carbonize, Nausea, Warden of Evo's Isle, Sylvan Might, Raise the Alarm, Fervent Carthar, Wake Dancer, and Avon Rift Watcher. That is a stupendous pack. I'm going to run out of words to describe how good these packs are for drafting. This is actually a very well-designed set for drafting, which is why I enjoy it so much. Of course, I'm completely negating that by opening them and not drafting them, which you should, if you ever buy one, you should consider drafting it with your friends. Goblin token. Wonderful. Add that to the pile for ooh, a reckless charge, and it's foil too. Put that in the foil pile. Regal Force. That's a yeah, that's a that's a good draft card. Good draft card. Pyroblast, cool. Wonder. Beetleback Chief. That card spiked a while back with uh, some can't remember what what caused it, but it was pretty funny. Oh, that's that's what the wall token comes from. <laughs> uh that's yeah, sacrifice it. Alright. Jungle Hollow. Emperor Crocodile. Faithless looting. Dismal Backwater, Eye Blight's Ending, Thornwield Archer, Giant Tortoise, Benevolent Bodyguard, and Wildfire Emissary. Protected from white. All right. Moving on to the next pack here. I hope you find this kind of calming. I do. Cracking packs is always fun. A white... And red, Goblin Soldier. He just looks absolutely menacing. Does he not? This guy looks just so menacing. He has kind of a smarmy look on his face, too. A Sentinel Spider for the foil. Diminishing Returns. I actually have the older version of that card. If I feel like running the newer frame, I guess I can now as well. I like. I prefer the older frame, though. Relic of Progenitus. Great sideboard material. Timber Watch Elf. Tooth and Claw, Monk Idealist, Twisted Abomination, Nature's Claim, Tidal Wave, Curd Ape. Man, I'm, I've almost built Naya, Naya Zoo now. I have two Curd Apes. I'm like halfway there. Sylvan Knight, Glacial Wall, Mog War Marshal. Again, another great draft card. And Wake Dancer. Oh, the stack of others. I can't remember which commons and uncommons are actually valuable for this. Maybe we'll get like a 
I don't know, like a foil brainstorm or something. I already have one. I could use another. That'd be cool. An elf warrior. You're so fierce, aren't you? Twisted abomination. Oh. G <laughs> Giant solifuge. I don't know why I find this card funny, but I do. He's just, just a big insect, trample haste, and he always gets passed in drafts. Emisitone, Prodigal Sorcerer, Young Pyromancer. It's a fantastic card. Fantastic card. Counterspell, Seal of Cleansing, Phyrexian Rager, Firebolt, Civic Wayfinder, Glacial Wall, Mog Fanatic, Skulking Ghost, Raise the Alarm, and Fervent Cathar. Moving on to the next pack here. Oh, I see a duress. That art always creeped me out. That, al that art always creeped me out. There's a bunch of needles going near your face. It, it can't be comfortable. A Dagron token. Dag, dragon, Dagron. A foil, tragic slip. Wonderful, wonderful. It's always good to have a tragic slip. It kills Emrakul. Natural order, another mythic. As an additional cost to cast natural order, sacrifice a green creature. Search your library for a green creature card and put it onto your battlefield, then shuffle your library. You know, it's always great to sacrifice a little elf and then get a progenitus. That's just great. That's just fun. Cabal Therapy. Fantastic, fantastic card there as well. It's one of the hardest cards to cast blindly as well. Turn one, blind Cabal Therapy, you don't know what you're playing against. You usually just name Force of Will. Jetting Glass Kite. Gitu Slinger, Phantom Monster, Fog, Lanoir Elves, oh, this Alana Huntmaster, that's a great, if you are ever drafting Elves with this set, that is a very good pick. Warden of Evos Isle, Seal of Strength, Deadbred Shaman, Rally the Peasants, Borderland Marauder, and Duress. I don't actually have a natural order either, so this is, man, I know it wouldn't cost very much to just order all these myself, but it's just so much fun pulling them sometimes, and this is Christmas after all. I hope I release this on Christmas, because, uh, and I hope all of you are having a wonderful Christmas. We have a surf token, Oh, one surf. Ooh, a foil prismatic lens. It's, a, it's good EDH tech right here, just a... Beautiful, beautiful foil as well. Ooh, Gamble. A red card that allows you to search your library, but it's a gamble. You could end up discarding it when you search for it. A Pyroblast. Factor Fiction. Fantastic card. Some early Therese Nielsen art there. Burning Vengeance. Phyrexian Rager. Counter Man, we almost have a place out of counter spells from this set. That is just wonderful. Swift Water Cliffs, Sentinel Spider. Hey, I gotta foil one of those. Civic Wayfinder, Memory Lapse, Duress, Humble, Desperate Ravings, and Plague Witch. Fantastic. Just great stuff. Great stuff. Not even sarcastic. I'm just trying to be calm here. Just trying to be calm because I hope you find this relaxing on your Christmas Eve. Maybe you've opened some really cool stuff. Not necessarily Magic the Gathering cards, but you've opened some stuff. Oh, another Goblin token. Just wonderful. Oh, we have a rare. Glare of Subdual. Tap an untapped creature you control to tap target artifact or creature. And it's a foil rare. Sadly, that's... Oh, I'll put that, I'll put that in the real, rare pile. Rare pile. Oh, and then we have Karmic Guide. Flying Protection from Black. Echo. When there's a battlefield, return dark creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Wonderful art on there, too. Hey, we have a Brainstorm. Lovely. I have a foil one of this. Blood Braid Elf. Always beautiful, beautiful. Field of Souls. Firebolt. Seal of Cleansing. Lanoir Elves. Lissalana Huntmaster. I always feel like that's a legendary because there's like three separate words in it. I don't know. Giant Tortoise. Thornwield Archer. Elite Vanguard, Keldon Marauders, Innocent Blood, and Raise the Alarm. Getting pretty deep into this box so far. Gotten some wonderful stuff. Force of Will, namely, is one I'm very happy to see. It's just a, it's a wonderful card. Sorry, my face itched a little bit there. You know, 
It's cold out. Your face dries out a little bit more than normally. Sometimes you gotta scratch your face. It's all good. We have a zombie token. A little tutu. Ooh, shelter. Shelter. I don't know. I always, always liked the art of that card. I wonder why. A duplicate. If you're ever playing, you know, Mud Legacy or even EDH, this is a fantastic removal spell. And plus, you know, it's, it's an artifact. It looks cool. This guy's becoming something else in there. It's good stuff. Great stuff. Phyrex and Gargantua. Factor Fiction. Honden of Life's Web. Nausea. White Mane Lion. Carbon Eyes. Thornwield Archer. Gaseous form. Yeah. It's like me after eating Taco Bell. You know what I'm saying? Elvish Vanguard. Deadbridge Shaman. Welcome Guide. Wildfire Emissary. And Carrion Feeder. I always like Duplicate. But I think I might have actually traded mine away. Or maybe I just have an old one. And I'm not remembering the art correctly. I'll have to check my Progenitus deck here in a little bit. Oh, this one's being a little difficult to open. I bet it's got something good. Probably got something good if it doesn't want to reveal its secrets. Okay. Oh, a dragon token. Yep, yeah, this, this is a good pack. Ooh, foil pilgrims. I, you know, this is always a great budget budget option for EDH players for fixing mana. Balance. Remember when I said there was going to be something good in here? Balance. It's a wonderful, wonderful tempo card. Wall of Omens. Another fantastic wall. Harmonize. Glimmer Point Stag. This is a good pack. Lanawar Elves. Fog. Man of War. Windscarred Crag, Civic Wayfinder, Una's Grace, Keldon Marauders, Innocent Blood, Raise the Alarm, and Fervent Cathar. That's actually my first balance as well. Man, just getting a lot of great mythics so far. That is three. That is three mythics thus far. I don't know if we'll get another one. This could be a very good, very good box that's just being very giving. A carnivore token. What does that go to? That is dreadful that is just a dreadful picture good job uh johan Bowden. good job on that good job on that art a shoreline ranger for the foil glare of subdual hey i have a foil version of that we dragonauts that's a fun that's just a fun card timber watch elf shaman of the pack man this is a great box for uh drafting elves pacifism scoured barons faithless looting grave digger Dream Twist, Jungle Hollow, Seal of Strength, Glacial Wall, Rally the Peasants, and Borderland Marauder. I should go back in this pile of uh, commons and uncommons and pick out the that Cabal Therapy. That's probably worth a little bit. I forgot how much exactly it is worth, but I know it's, you know, it's worth something. It's good. always good to have a Cabal Therapy. And that Trade Binder. There may be multiples. And Elephant. I, I know what that goes with. It's Terastodon, right? A giant tortoise that is also shiny. Entomb, wonderful for reanimator. This, this is a great card. Search your library for a card. Put that card in your graveyard. Man, then animate dead turn two. Well, you can even get some turn one combos off with that. Jetting glass kite, Phyrexian Gargantua. Just a side note, Phyrexian Gargantua, probably one of my favorite draft cards. Battle Squadron. White Mane Lion, Man of War, Thornwood Falls, Werebear, Glacial Wall, Thornwield Archer, Avarax, that is a, that's a fun fun card to draft around, Carrion Feeder, Benevolent Bodyguard, and Wildfire Emissary. Man, wouldn't it be great to get like a Wasteland in this as well? I'd love to start, start collecting some Wastelands. Okay. A wall token to go with. I can't remember. Can't even remember that card. <gasps> oh my. Oh my. This is a foil. Chrome Mox. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. Vulcan Baga, you wonderful, wonderful artist. And I love how just the, uh, you know, just the silver parts of it are shiny. That is absolutely gorgeous that's the fourth mythic that we've gotten thus far we have braids cabal minion i have a foil version of her as well wonder exactly wonder because i'm wondering that beautiful chrome mox hey wait that's a chrome mox that means 
I can have a foil Chromebox in my legacy Belcher deck. I can send a message. You know, it's a budget deck, but no, we're going all out. We Dragonauts, Brawn, Elephant Guide. Yep, that's what that goes with. And that's what that token went with. Wake of Vultures, Rugged Highlands, Deep Analysis, Reckless Charge, Giant Tortoise. Hey, look at that. Seal of Strength, Dragon Egg, Prowling Pangolin, Welkin Guide. Man, that is just a beautiful, beautiful art on that Chrome Mox. I am excited to put that in my trade binder and probably trade it away. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. We'll see. We'll see. If I pull another one, then maybe I'll start working on a playset of them for Belcher. We have a soldier token. His blade glistening with blood in the night sky. Uh, poetic. So poetic. Gitu Slinger. That's a fantastic, fantastic draft card. Sinkhole. I played uh, Legacy Pox for a very long time. Sinkhole was one of the cards that you, you ran as a forum because it's very, very good. Intangible Virtue, Zealous Persecution, well, that kind of negates out that other card, Wirewood Symbiote, you need that if you're playing Elves, Pilgrim's Eye, Sentinel Spider, Core Hookmaster, Swiftwater Cliffs, Sylvan Might, Stupefying Touch, Prowling Pangolin, Welkin Guide, Avarax, and Carrion Feeder. I don't know what my uh, return on investment here is on this box, but that Chrome Mox and that Force of Will certainly, certainly, probably put it up there. Maybe I don't even know how much how much a foil Chrome Mox would go for. It's a beautiful card, though. It should be worth a ton because it's beautiful. Elf Warrior, Rugged Highlands. Oh, it's foil. Oh, that's an it's a nice. Man, foil mana fixing for an EDH deck. A Maze of Ith. This is my first Maze of Ith. This is such a giving box. Maze of Ith. That's going to be a great card. Mesa Enchantress. Singer Autocrat. Havoc Demon. Tranquil Cove. Tranquil Cove. That's, that's where we are right now. So Tranquil. Opening this Pacifism. Scoured Barons. Faithless Looting. Gravedigger. Yavamaya Enchantress. Silent Departure. Plague Witch, Squadron Hawk, you made me leave standard. When did this move? When did this move? Oh no, there's just a shadow starting to form here. I thought my webcam moved. This card made me leave standard. Undying Rage. Because you would pair Squadron Hawk with a bunch of swords and Jace and Stoneforge. And man, that Squadron Hawk thought he was so cool. And then he was not cool once his friends got banned. All right. Oh, an elemental token. Goes to that young pyromancer. A scoured barons. That is foil. A control magic. I love, love, love this enchant card. You know, just bring it out. Boom. No, I'm sorry. I control this creature now. Oh, this lovely little ray of sunlight. Look at that. It's so warm on your hands, too. A hydro... Oh, I need to put you with the rares, right? A hydroblast. Victimize. Armadillo cloak. That's a fantastic card. Just fantastic card. Nature's Claim. Mistral Charger. Curd Ape. We almost have the playset. Wonderful. Bloodfell Caves. Tragic Slip. Commune with the Gods. Una's Grace. Wake Dancer. Avon Rift Watcher. And Dragon Egg. I believe the Dragon Egg is what that... Nope. Oh, two, two red. All right. All right, only five packs left. You know, I wonder what else we could pull. This pack, is, this box has already been so very, very good. I wonder what else we could possibly get. I wonder what else. We have a spirit token. Wonderful. Ooh, a foil dragon egg. Xanted Swarm. I just actually ordered a playset of these. <laughs> ah, oh well. Into the trade binder you go. I have a friend that wants one. I'll just give it to him. Ashnod's Altar, Soul Catcher, Mindless Automaton, Shoreline Ranger, Orcish, Oriflame, Coalition Honor Guard. This is one of the best draft cards. It's so good. Absolutely so good. If you're ever playing white and draft and you see that, pick it up. First pick, doesn't even matter. Elephant Guide, Wake of Vultures, Peregrine Drake, Yavamaya Enchantress, Humble, Desperate Ravings, and Plague Witch. 
that's a good, that's an interesting pack for drafting. All right, getting down to the end here. Getting down to the end here. We have an elemental. A foil grave digger. If you ever drafting reanimator, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Visara the Dreadful. She's a legendary Gorgon, and she just taps and destroys target creature. Yeah, it is a very powerful card in draft. Ashnod's Altar. Neckertal, another very good card. Flame Jab. Core Hook Master. Phantom Monster. Tranquil Cove. Pilgrim's Eye. Seal of Strength, Una's Grace, Shelter, Mog Fanatic, Blight Soil Druid, and Ballynock Cohort. Man, you know what would be really good? You know what would be really good? Getting that fourth Curd Ape. That would just make this Christmas box of Eternal Masters just that much better. I think I have another one somewhere, but, you know, you don't keep track of all your Curd Apes. We have a Surf Token. A foil emperor crocodile. Pyrokinesis. You may exile a red card from your hand rather than pay pyrokinesis mana cost, and it deals four damage divided as you choose amongst any number of target creatures you control. Ticking gnomes. Chain lightning. I know that's actually worth just a little, little bit, so we're going to put that in a rare pile. Merfolk looter. Nature's claim. Tidal wave. What was I saying? What was I saying? It is, it is a beautiful Christmas, Christmas box. Curd Ape, we got the playset. And that's what really matters. Blossoming Sands, Tranquil Cove, Lissalana Huntmaster, Warden of Evo Sile, Skulking Ghost, Second Thoughts, Instinct Scorcher. Oh, don't worry. Rest assured, everyone, I will go back through the commons and uncommons and pick out all of those Juicy, juicy cards, and especially that play set of Kurt Apes. All right. Moving along here. We have a Worm Token. A Foil Faithless Looting. That might be worth something to some of these players. It's a very good card for modern, uh, yeah, for modern, uh, Dredge. Yeah, I think. I think. I think that's what you use. Call the Skybreaker. Put a 5-5 blue and red elemental creature token with flying onto the battlefield and retrace. That has won me many, many a draft. Cabal Therapy. We'll just go ahead and put you in your right home there. Honden of Infinite Rage. Oh, you can't have Infinite Rage. It's Christmas. Calciderm. Elephant Guide. Wake of Vultures. Rugged Highlands. Deep Analysis. Reckless Charge. Nimble Mongoose. Oh, we almost got a playset. Warden of Evo Sile, Squadron Hawk, I don't care to get a place out of that, Undying Rage, and Knight's Whisper. Fantastic, just absolutely wonderful day. All right, everyone, this is the last pack of Modern Masters. It's got a nice little, uh, this is a Goblin Charbelcher art on the front of this. Oh, oh boy. What could it be? What could it be? You know, at this point, I don't care. I got the foil, or I got the play set of Curd Apes. Got a foil chrome box, a force of will, natural order balance. Man, that is just a great, great box. Got an elf warrior, a foil humble, and the very last rare. The very last rare. What could it be? What could it be? A nev disc. I will absolutely take that. That is a fantastic card for any EDH deck. Great removal. A hymn to Turok as well. A si the ever classic Flying Vigilant Sarah Angel. Brawn. Phyrexian Rager. Werebear. Swiftwater Cliffs. Counterspell. I believe that completes the play set of counterspells. Sylvan Might. Giant Tortoise. Urborg Uprising. Avon Rift Watcher. Avarex. And Prowling Pangolin. Oh man, that is just a wonderful, wonderful box here. Let's let's go through some of this real quick. Set out some of these cards. Mother of Runes. A Force of Will. Where is the uh where is that card I really enjoyed? Ooh, yeah, Maze of Ith. Got a sinkhole. 
the foil chrome box. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Balance, duplicate, natural order. And there we go. That is, those are some fantastic pulls. Wonderful pulls. Stupendous. Marvelous. I hope all of you had a wonderful Christmas. And uh, I'm going to go put, put these in some sleeves, go through my commons and uncommons, and, you know, make sure I get that play set of curd apes. Man, it's some lovely Therese Nielsen art here. One, two, three. This is a Therese Nielsen just extravaganza. Look at that. All right. Farewell, everyone. Maybe I'll do another one of these. If not, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.